What's up everybody? Welcome back in for another episode of Swiss Cheese and Beats. My name is Daniel. This is episode 15. And today we're going to be reviewing our very first marching snare drum stick, the stick that you voted for on Instagram. And that is of course the innovative percussion Paul Rennick PR and the PR2. Before we get started, I'd like to give a special thanks to Henry Go over at Innovative Percussion. Henry takes care of all of the artists and educators endorsed through the company. Henry was so kind enough to send us some sticks so we can do this review for you guys. Big ups to you, Henry. Special thanks to everybody over at Innovative Percussion. Golf clap. Golf clap. Now on to the sticks. The sticks were designed by the team over at Innovative along with Paul Rennick. For those of you unsure about who Paul Rennick is, let me give you the quick one minute recap. Paul Rennick is an assistant professor over at the University of North Texas. He's also the director and arranger of the 17 time PAS champion North Texas Drumline. He is currently the caption manager and along with his wife, the music arranger for the percussion section of the Santa Clara Vanguard, where they just won their second consecutive Fred Sanford Award. This is his third Fred Sanford title at the Vanguard since 2011. Before that, he was at the Phantom Regiment in the same capacity where he also won three Fred Sanford Awards for high percussion there, along with the DCI World Championship in 2008. And just this past August, he was inducted into the DCI Hall of Fame. Paul has had such a great influence on the marching percussion activity. If you ever get a chance to go see one of his clinics, whether it's at PASIC or one of the other music conferences going on across the country, I recommend that you really check that out, take time to go hear what he has to say. He goes into depth a lot about music, writing and arranging, which I find super interesting because I think the general consensus is that Paul is absolutely one of the best percussion arrangers out there today. So a couple of years ago, Innovative made the change in the actual build of the sticks. They switched to a heartwood hickory, which is a type of wood that's found on the eastern side of the US or even the southeastern side of Canada. It's a really strong wood which has a very high shock resistance, which really works out great considering you're gonna be hitting either high tension snare drums or high tension quads at all volumes, including rim shots. So when Innovative made the change to white hickory on the majority of their sticks, the durability really took a step up. The stick has a really long taper to it, which actually leads to a larger diameter teardrop shaped bead, which is good because the size of the bead allows you to get a quick rebound out of the drum, but you can still get a full sound, a full tone quality out of the drum, which is really nice. The length of the stick going from the butt all the way to the tip of the bead is about 17 inches long, which is around the average length of most marching sticks out there on the market today. The butt end of the stick has a nice rounded smooth edge at the bottom and the thickness of the stick is right under 7 tenths of an inch which feels a little bit thinner in my hand say but I think this is great for the younger percussionists with smaller hands as they're trying to make that transition into the marching percussion aspect. I remember when I was first trying to make a change into marching percussion and got a pair of drumsticks. Granted, this was almost 25 years ago, but those sticks just felt like trees in my hands. They were enormous. And so I think that the thickness of the PRs really lends itself well to the younger percussionist trying to make that jump into the marching percussion world. Along with the thickness of the stick being a little bit smaller, these weigh in right around 3.1 ounces which is a great weight, again, for younger percussionists or if you're planning on using these in an indoor environment. With that being said, I do think that the PRs are a great option for indoor activities, especially when you wanna get a great sound out of the drums, but you don't wanna be overbearing when it comes to balance of the overall ensemble. The weight distribution on the stick is slightly front heavy, but not that much. It's really more equal weight front to back and so it's gonna feel like you can play a little bit quicker, it's gonna feel like the stick's a little bit lighter, but you're still gonna get a great response from the stick, both in how it sounds and of course how it feels. The PR2 is made of the same type of wood as the PR, it's the same long taper, it's still 17 inches long. The first difference with the PR2 compared to the PR is the thickness. 
Thickness of the PR, as I said, is right under 7 tenths of an inch, actually at 0.698. The thickness of the PR2 is at 0 0.710. So while it doesn't seem like much, what it really does affect is the beat of the stick as well as the weight of the stick. You can see here that on the bead of the PR2, it's a little bit bigger, a little bit fatter. It's more of a bullet barrel shaped bead. So it's gonna give you more surface contact area here in the middle of the bead to strike the drum, but it's gonna give you a nice dark sound out of the instrument, as well as that quick rebound you still want out of a snare drum stick. And even on the butt end, when you're looking at them down the line, you can see that the PR2 is just a little bit bigger, a little bit thicker than the PR. Now as far as weight goes, that extra thickness is gonna add an extra 0.2 ounces. So the PR2s come in at a 3.3 ounce, and that little bit of extra thickness and that little bit of extra weight is gonna give you another level of dynamic volume that you'll be able to reach, as well as a darker tone that you'll be able to produce out of the instrument. The PR2 weight distribution is definitely gonna be more front heavy than the PRs. You're gonna feel that when you put these in your hand, there's just a lot more weight in the front just a little bit extra that you'll be able to get out as far as volume goes. The PR2 is without a doubt my weapon of choice. It is my absolute favorite stick. It's a stick that I have my students play with in my outdoor ensemble. When they made the jump from the PR to the PR2, it did feel a little bit awkward because at the time there wasn't a PR2 available. And so when I first got my hands on the PR2, it just felt a little bit thicker, a little bit heavier, but now it just fits. The cost for both the PRs and the PR2s is about the same, usually running anywhere from $10 to $12 depending on where it is that you purchase them from. This price point does put the sticks right in the middle when it comes to about the average cost of all marching snare drum sticks. Overall, both the PRs and the PR2s are built really well. They feel really good in your hands. The PRs, again, are gonna be a little bit more lighter. You're gonna feel like you can play a lot faster with them just simply because of the weight distribution, how it's more equal across the stick. The PR2s are gonna give you that little bit of extra weight on the front. It's gonna give you that extra beefy, meaty sound that I know that a lot of people really want out of their marching percussion section. So both of these sticks are definitely sticks that I would consider. The PR is more on the indoor side of playing and the PR2 is more on the outdoor side of playing. Thank you once again to Henry over at Innovative Percussion for sending these sticks in for the review. Thank you so much to all of you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you have yet to do so, please consider subscribing down below. If you have any suggestions on video topics or sticks you'd like me to review, or any additional information about the PR or PR2 sticks that I just covered, please leave that down in the comment section below. If you'd like to be a part of the voting process of the next stick that we review, you can follow me over on Instagram at SwissCheeseBeats. Just this week we passed a thousand followers on Instagram, which is just completely insane to me. But along with that, I've been getting a lot of really great messages, a lot of really good questions from a lot of you. So please don't ever hesitate to reach out. But again, I cannot thank you enough. I can't tell you how much I appreciate all of your support on all the platforms. It just really means a ton to me and I just really want you to know that. You'll also find some short videos of some exercises that I post along with links to sheet music or even in my stories every once in a while, I may post videos of students sleeping on my bus. That's all for this episode of Swiss Cheese and Beats. I will see you next time.